Hello and welcome to this wonderful school. It's Bruton School for Girls and I'm Jane Evans and I'm going to start here in September as the new headmistress. I just thought this would be a really good opportunity for me to have another look around the school but also to meet up with Florence who was here a few years ago and she's going to tell me a little bit about her time when she was here at uh, Bruton School for Girls and show me around and yeah. we thought maybe you'd like to join us. So where are we going to go Florence? So we're going to head off to Thompson block first which is our English block. And did you do English when you were here? I did English, yes, yes. many a lesson in the Thompson block. Yeah. Um, I also spent quite a lot of my time in the library which is also in the Thompson block. As we're walking down, you can see to the left, this is the pop-up garden. Often in the summer term, um, the girls spend a lot of time in the pop-up garden. You'll always see them out revising in groups on the tables for GCSE A-levels. And then the younger girls can just, you know, have, ha have a bit of chill out time um, on the giant chessboard. What a lovely place to study. In. Really, really lovely. Just tell me, why did you come to Bruton School for Girls in the first place? Uh, well, it was an easy choice for my parents because um, quite a lot of my family members had come here previously. So my mum, my auntie, yes. uh, my great aunt, wow. my cousin. Wow. <laughs> um, so it was it was a no brainer really because over the generations, everyone's loved it here. So it's a real family affair yeah, for you. Massively, oh, yeah, massively. Yeah. 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 Gonna head into Thompson Block, which is here. So Florence, when I came round um, a few months ago. The girls were in here so much studying as well as having some lessons in yeah. here. Still yeah. Online, as well as online resources, you've still got all of the different yeah. um, textbooks yeah. and things. Yeah. Fantastic. And again, views. This is what we refer to as Coburn. It's a famous place for old girls. Everyone knows what Coburn is. Everywhere around the school there's art. Yeah. Whether it's inside the building or even outside the yeah. building as well. It's just fantastic. Literally any artwork in the school is done by, by girls. So a lot of the inspiration then has come comes also from working with professional artists. So we've got a house and work next next door to the yeah. school practically. Yeah, yeah. And the girls go down to the studios and work with all the artists and things. They do, they do. They're often often going on trips up to Hauser and Worth. Um, workshops that are happening. Yeah, they get stuck in, and it's yeah, it's just a great opportunity. Yeah. So the students actually come in here. They do their art lessons in here with that. Yeah. And the light must be so good as well for those who, who really yeah. want to take their art seriously yeah, as well. Yeah, really, really good. Fantastic. Huge cavernous space and this is one of many. You can really specialise in other areas like textiles and photography. And they've got their own um, dark room yeah, yeah, here yeah, as well. Yeah. So it's not just digital camera no. stuff, it's actually really exploring and experimenting with different forms yeah, of photography. Yeah, the girls can really get to grips with yeah. the traditional methods. Yeah. Brilliant. There's a lot of talk in this school that the teachers really do know you very well as an individual. Is that true? Very true. It's Is no it? lie. It's extremely true. They, yeah. they know you inside out, you know, what makes you tick. Yeah. And what's so good about that? Well, it just means that around the clock you've got teachers that can support you where you need the support. So one of the things that's really important is that the community get together every week regularly. As I remember, coming into the hall every week for assembly, um, you knew every single person in the room. So as we come up here, Florence, behind us is the sports hall, is that yeah, right? Yeah, the sports hall's got the tennis court and the astro as and well. And a swimming pool. And a swimming pool. Don't forget the swimming pool in the summer months. A full suite of gym equipment. And I presume that the boarders can have access as well to this in the evenings. Yeah, they do, and they quite often come down with uh, our GAP students um, and they kind of have a little workout regime that the girls, if they want to, can, can join in with. Brilliant. How many girls are, tend to be boarders and how many are... And... So we're looking roughly, it's about 70% day, about 30% boarding. Okay, and yeah. some of that boarding community will be international students. Yes. But mostly this is a British boarding school. Yeah. There's not a divide between the boarding and the day. Everyone is, you know, a family. It's corny, but everyone's a family and everyone just integrates. You know, there's no division. 
So how many science labs are there? So there's six, six in total. Well, yeah. 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 And the real emphasis is very much on doing the practical side as well, isn't it? So you learn the theory mm -hmm. as you're doing. And all the girls take science usually at A level as well, don't they? Yeah. The majority of the girls they take at least one science at A level. Fantastic facilities even outside the greenhouse. Yeah. And yeah. that whole sense of research and exploration in science as well. Yeah, the girls are so aware of the world around them. So when they do eventually leave BSG, you know, they are equipped and they, they know what yeah. they're what they're going into. Yeah. Clearly in the classroom there's a limited number of students that are going to be in each class so that the contact that the teacher has with the students is quite a lot isn't it yeah the, it, it really yeah. is so the exam results at this school are some of the best aren't yes, they they are so they are. <laughs> so you know if you are comparing as well with other schools and achievement britain school for girls do exceptionally well we do we really do yeah, yeah. So this is um the maths and humanities is that correct yeah that's correct yeah um, and it's a building that uh, was recently renovated, well, 2016. Um, so amazing architecture. Um, and it's, uh, it's one of our most green buildings. Britain School for Girls is an eco school, yes. isn't it? The girls are really aware of it and have, you know, quite passionate about it. Behind us, we've got Sunny Hill Prep and Nursery. So we take boys and girls from the age of two and boys can stay until they're seven. Um, so the prep school is part of uh, the, the whole campus and the older girls kind of prep three to six. Um, they're able to use a lot of the facilities in and, the senior school. And do the teachers come down yeah. and teach in the prep? Oh, how Equally. lovely. So there's just that lovely transition yeah. that when they do eventually go into senior one, they, they know the teachers who will be teaching. Here we've got the original building, which we called Old House. So this is where the school started in 1900. So it's 120 years old. Yes, yeah, oh, yeah. A massive tradition of teaching and educating girls. Yeah. It holds the very special dining hall, which all the girls know the food is delicious here. Um, the girls... And it's homemade on yeah, site, isn't it? Absolutely so you have a chef everything. on site and yeah. it's beautifully resourced yeah. food as well. Yeah, all, all local as we can get it. Um, and choice? Yes, loads of choices, whether you're vegetarian, you've got allergens or, you know, there's there's salad, jacket potato, or you can and have. And can you mix and match? Yeah, everything? completely. How lovely, how lovely. Yeah, and hot hot puddings and cold puddings. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Every other year we have a school production. Last year we had Chicago, which went down an absolute treat. The girls were incredible in it. So if we head down this way, we've got Hop House. So it gets used for a whole host of different things, but mainly every Wednesday evening, we welcome a speaker who then presents to our sixth form and other girls, it's open to other years. They can enjoy a lecture about different career paths. It's a really valuable, valuable thing for the girls. Fantastic studio space, isn't it? To yeah. do, I, I presume the GCSE and A-level pieces get performed in here. Yeah, well. yeah. The Tell me a little bit about your time with the music department, Florence. So there's, there's a whole host of, of things the girls can get involved in. They can have individual specialist lessons with visiting music teachers um, and the girls can really get involved in choir and orchestra amongst other musical clubs that, are, that run throughout the week. Um, in previous years uh, the choir have gone to various countries such as Poland and Italy. Oh fabulous. Um, yeah and, and visited loads of lovely sort of villages and performed to the locals which is really lovely for the girls to get involved in. So Joe, you were telling me earlier that there are two boarding houses, one for the junior and one for the senior. So that you know we're going around the senior one now and isn't it lovely? I can see that the day girls have also got their own beds. And I presume that's because they're coming to the um, lectures and things in the evenings. And and I understand just looking at the names and things in the in the boarding house lists that that the majority of the girls in the boarding houses are from British families. So that that real sense of British education continues all the way through, even into the boarding community. Thank you Flo for showing me around. And I really do appreciate that for such a short film, we haven't been able to see everything, but I do. I hope you enjoyed that little tour. I really did. It's made me very excited about joining in September. And I hope maybe it's given you a chance to think about whether you too might like to know a little bit more about the school. So if you'd like some more information, please do get in touch with admissions. If you do decide that Bruton School for Girls is for you, then I personally look forward to meeting you when you join.